welcome to Toy Chest Quest. Thank you so much for joining me and checking out this video. Today we're going to do a little bit of a toy hunt. I'm going to start out at Target. Ah, uh, probably peep around the NECA section, see what we can find. And while we're up there, I might as well hit up a few other stores that I haven't been to in a while and see what they're doing. I haven't been to Best Buy for a long time, so we'll see what that's like. So, let's get out on the hunt, see what we can find. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, we're at Target, so let's go over to the next section, see what they got. Oh, wow, that's surprising. That is the second time I've ever seen turtle stuff here. Granted, I still need to see them. It's all stuck then, right? Let's see if there's anything else. Oh my gosh. Cool to see these here, though. They sell out a lot really quickly here. Anything like that. That's why I don't come here a whole whole lot because this one doesn't keep stuff long oh my gosh i might need this guy man that is great not seen these yet i may mean, need to pick that one up that's funny <laughs> big animal guy so probably gonna take ace with me Let's see what else we got marty gamer gremlin I never did see greta Gremlin yet. So let me know if you've seen that one. <laughs> Guess not, I still need. Some DC, oh, Wonder Woman. That's what I was looking for today. Actually, I wasn't even looking for this, but man, I don't know if I can leave this. My favorite movie as a kid. It's so funny. Some DC stuff. I'm glad to see these everywhere. Now that I picked them all up. Flash. Death Metal. Look at this Batman. I haven't seen this guy, not gold label. It's pretty cool. I like this one, the Tommy Carlin one. Ooh! I've not seen that guy yet. I might be picking that up. I've never seen any of these gold ones. Wow. Hey, I put him in the ball for now at least. Ghostbusters. See, we've got Egon and I got him the other day. Yeah, it's a good stock now. Let's keep peeping around. I almost got to my, at least $50 on that gift certificate. Here's what I'm talking about. This week ends on the third. So yeah, I'm at least gonna spend 50 today. So, pretty close to being there, I'd say. There's any new Jurassic World. Boy, this thing is awesome. Look how big this is. Oh my god, big as my fist. Crazy. I'm assuming there's not much Star Wars either. Nope. That's what a lot of people's targets seem to look like. I like this guy, but just kind of sick of running into him constantly. Let's make some more of those Undertakers. The Rock. Neat. I'll take this. China, remember her when I watched wrestling as a kid? Very neat. They got a build a figure with a very creepy puppet. So, cool. All right, let's keep looking around a little bit. I'd probably just get these. Close to 50. Gosh, I'm to buy like one little toy. Maybe some mini brands or something. Let's look around. All right, well, I just recorded this and it didn't record, so hopefully this time it works. All right, well, I got a few things at Target I'm really excited about. One thing I didn't even really show you, so I'll show you guys everything I got at the end of the video, of course. I've been doing that lately, and I think it's a lot of fun. Good way to wrap everything up. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go next. I might pop over to Five Below. I haven't been there in a while. I know the Captain Marvel, Marvel Legends wave was showing up at a place called the 99 Cent Store, which we don't have, sadly. And I'm dying to finish that wave. I only need, like, two or three more figures from it. And boy, if I could get them for $5 a piece, I'd be thrilled. I know Five Below had some of the Mattel uh, DC line. I know they, they had a, a ton of Shazam the last time I was there. So I might pop over there and see what they have. And after that, I'm thinking about popping down to Best Buy. I haven't been there for a hot minute. So uh, sometimes they have some good stuff too. So let's head to those stores, see what they got. I have to cut out all the music because this is so loud. Oh, those are adorable. Stitch's little house. 
I'm gonna have to get that for my fiance. She's a big Stitch fan. That's really fun. I'm gonna get that for her desk at work today. A little fun treat for her. These are fun. I've got a couple of these. They're way too big for scale though. That's kind of neat. Whoa. That's really neat. Just five bucks. I'm gonna get this one. This for the little press. Let's see what else I got here. Chinese food. Oh, movie time. Oh. What am I eating? What is that? There's a breakfast. Chinese food. Which one did I get? Breakfast, right? Like French breakfast. Oh, the other one's French breakfast, too. Yeah, I think we get Chinese food, too. Those are really cool. Oh. I get movie time. I have like three or four popcorn buckets already. Very neat. Godzilla keychain. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, we're there. Well, that's cool. It's close as I've ever been to a PS5. It's probably a fake model. This is sad news because I think they're kind of phasing toys out here. I'm going to show you all the whole new toy section now. There used to be like some here, over here, and back there. Now it's just one on top. There's nothing good. I mean, if you're a little kid, there's good stuff, but like, we got two Star Wars figures here. No DC stuff. I'm gonna peep around to see if they can move it, but it's kind of cool. I don't know. All right, but man, that's a huge bummer. I, I ended up talking to one of the employees and I just said, hey, because they, they saw me like looking around aimlessly with a sad scowl on my eyes, I guess. I probably had that look in my eyes like, oh, What's this sad man looking for? And uh, he was very kind and helpful. He actually had trouble finding the toy section in general. We, He and I both went down several aisles. And he was like, well, they used to be here and then here. And well, they were here too. And he and I both uh, just kind of theorized they're kind of phasing it out, it looks like. Keeping it very minimal, which I don't know what Best Buy really sells at this point because they're trying to get rid of everything. I they're, I actually went to see if they had a... I was looking for Batman, the TV show on Blu-ray because it's very expensive digitally. Not streaming anywhere uh, except for iTunes, which is digitally. But uh, they did not have it. They had two shelves of movies, a bunch of appliances and Wi-Fi home stuff. Uh, a lot, Not even a lot of video games anymore, sadly. So uh, I was kind of bummed because I remember when I discovered they were selling toys here, I was really excited because I thought it was a good extra format, kind of like how uh, GameStop started selling toys as well and collectibles. So kind of a bummer to end on, but uh, let's go ahead and head home and I'll show you guys everything I did get from stores that do sell toys, unlike some places. All right, let's get home and see what I got. And we're back. I'll take my hat off here. Uh, that's over here. All right, well, other than finding out that Best Buy's just completely given up on selling toys, it was a pretty good hunt. So we'll go ahead and I like to work backwards whenever I go to a couple different stores. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got from the five below first. I ended up picking up these little things called Totally Tiny, and I'm not sure, but I kept seeing a lot of people post photos of characters with a French press, and I think this is where they got it from. Um, these were $5, and they come with some weird slime. I don't know what the heck that is. It says, surprise slimy ooze topping. So maybe I'll bust some of that out when I do the Chinese food, because if it looks like some kind of soy sauce or duck sauce or something, uh, it might be really cool to photograph a couple times and then wash off. But uh, other than that, I mostly just got it for the little coffee accessories and then the little Chinese food accessories. And then, of course, I looked these up online when I got home. There seems to be a whole bunch of these, like breakfast. I forget what some of the other ones were, but I definitely look into them because uh, if you take pictures of stuff or you just like to have fun little accessories for your toys, I think these are really rad. So those were really fun find. Didn't know these existed. I also ended up getting my fiance. I don't know if you saw the little stitch in the little surf shop for her desk at work or whatever the heck she wants to do with it. It's very cute. Made her smile. I liked it. All right, next let's go to Target, which I don't have a ton of luck at this Target, but when I do, I have really good luck. Uh, first, I want to talk about this Batman, the Hellbat Gold Edition. And uh, I thought this was a Target exclusive at the time, but it turns out I think you can pretty much pre-order this on any of the normal online places you get toys. And um, I've seen both of these now, and I highly prefer this one. I think this looks really cool. 
Uh, it definitely turned out really, really, really neat. Uh, I am noticing when I hold this up, because I didn't really look at the back, that this is in the same wave as Gorilla Grodd and the Flash from Injustice 2, who I desperately want, especially Gorilla Grodd. You know, I like those big, bulky, weird figures. And it says Bizarro and Jon Stewart, Green Lantern. So that tells me that I might have missed the ones that were out at these stores, or maybe they just haven't been stocked yet, and they just put half of the stuff out, which would be kind of weird. But dang, I hope that I didn't miss them, and they put some more of those John Stewarts out, because I'm really looking for that figure. But this was a nice surprise, too, uh, especially with this guy being so big. Oh my gosh. I think I want to line up all the big McFarlane figures on one of these live streams, and we'll figure out which one's the biggest one. I love doing that live stream. I'm definitely going to do more of those. So hopefully you can figure out the tech a little better for the next one. Okay, and then last. Oh no, wait, I got two things. I'll save the two of them for last. Um, I ended up getting these little cars from Back to the Future. They were super cheap. I knew I was very, very close to where I needed to be at the $50 range. So I figured these would at least put me over and I could use them to take photos with Marty and Doc Brown, stuff like that, and I love those figures, so I've been really wanting uh, some inspiration to take some photos of them, and I saw these and just had a couple of really fun ideas, so hopefully you'll see some stuff on my Instagram. And they are die-cast, oh, very nice. Yeah, there's some other ones too of this. I like the the Batman Returns one was pretty neat too of these, and uh, they had some other like old Batman 66 cars, stuff like that, so definitely a cool little line. I'm not gonna get into collecting cars Though I think they are really neat collectibles. I just uh, don't know where I would put something like that. This is more like uh, figure accessories. It's more like me getting something like this. It'll probably go in the same box that I keep all my little photo stuff in. Alright, last, but certainly not least. Being a huge kid of the 90s, loved Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Uh, my mom has always worked in various animal fields, so I've always been around all kinds of animals as a kid. I remember being so desperate for Ace Ventura merchandise. There was an animated show coming out, and we were at some sort of a pet expo. Like, uh, she does grooming. She did a lot of grooming and boarding when I was a kid, and uh, it was like a big grooming boarding expo, and they had Ace Ventura, the animated series, like, signs on display, and I remember being a kid and being like, do you have any Ace Ventura stuff? And they were like... We are so sorry. I think they gave me like a little postcard and I put it up on my wall or something like that. But man, I remember there being nothing like that. So I wish I could take this to that kid. But I got it for this man now. So it's going to be something that's going to be really hilarious to photograph. Especially, oh my god, these faces kill me. That was the real, that in the... That and the animal accessories were the real deciding factors for me. Um, I'm probably gonna do a quick unboxing of this one too, just because, man, that is a funny figure. He's a riot. Oh my, can't, my light died. So I guess that means I should probably wrap it up. Um, but this is such a nice surprise. I had remembered seeing the 22 Ace come out and I totally forgot that this one existed. So it was one of those things I saw and I was like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot they were gonna make this regular Ace with all these animals and Looks like he has his little business card. Oh my god, that is so fun. I cannot wait to bust this dude out. Hey, thank you so much for coming on this toy with me. It's been a really great month. Uh, we are moving on to our final round of the Batman poll. So definitely vote, vote, vote. We'll do a live event the next weekend. We'll talk about the whole thing. I'm going to... You probably can't see it, but I've got this Batman v Superman play set we're going to put together and just kind of talk about Batman. So it's going to be a fun live stream. Hopefully I have some better camera situation going on. If not, I thought we had a good time regardless the last time. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, if you're at this point, I'm sure you've done all those things. So thank you so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Your comments are always really awesome and supportive and you're always really nice to each other. And I, I really appreciate it. And I like to talk to you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys really soon.